I just stole at the store, stroke on the small. Tell me to quit, no, no, sound what I'm told. They help me forget that this world is. What is up, and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're going to be talking about the brand new challenge that came out today the crown championship finals challenge i'm going to be making a video where i complete it actually i'll make a stream where i'm gonna stream my journey through it but i'm gonna show you guys how to get 20 wins what the best decks are gonna be and what it's gonna be like so it's a 20 win challenge just like the other challenge was i have 16 wins on my account so hopefully um, we'll be able to get this to 20 wins this time. I was a complete noob before, so hopefully, 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 we will, we will be able to get to 20 wins. Sorry, I accidentally hit my mic. But, um, let's go ahead and look at what this is. So, oh my goodness, the amount of gold that we will be getting from this challenge is insane. Look at this. All right, so create your deck with tournament rules. So tournament standard, regular decks. It's going to be just like the other challenge, guys. Let's celebrate the Crown Championship World Finals. Watch live on December 3rd, 10 a.m. GMT with an epic 21 challenge, three losses, and you're out. It starts in 19 hours and 47 minutes. Like I said, this is just going to give you guys my expectations, how to win it, what decks to use, what decks I'm going to be running, and everything like that. I expect to see a lot of Hog Rider. So I would definitely go with some P.E.K.K.A. decks. I'll let you guys know in a second. So um, two wins reward is going to be 2,000 gold. So that's already 2,000 gold right there. Then at um, four wins, you're going to get 30 rares, which is okay. Uh, six wins, you're going to get five epics. Eight wins, a giant chest. This is where the rewards start to get juicy. 15,000 gold for 10 wins. And then 12 wins, you get a magical chest. 14 wins, you get 20,000 gold. Oh my goodness, guys, this is crazy. 20 win, or 16 wins, you get 20 epics. A legendary chest at 18 wins, and here's the juicy part, guys. Here's what you've been waiting for. 20 wins, 250,000 gold. That's insane. It's not even comprehensible. So 250 plus 20,000, 270,000, 200. 85,000 plus 2,000, 287,000 gold plus another 3,000. So that's going to be 290,000 gold if you guys get 20 wins in this. So I'm going to show you guys how to get 20 wins, what decks to use, and stuff like that. And as I said, this is just going to be an introduction video for the challenge. I'm going to either post a video or stream. I have to decide on that um, of me, my journey going through this 20 win challenge, the crown championship finals challenge. If you guys don't know what CCGS it is a huge tournament for pro players and people that are really good at the game. So if you do want to get some practice, this challenge is going to be it for you. So let's talk about decks. Log bait, one of my favorite decks, guys. Um, I love log bait. I've been practicing a lot with it. So obviously I'm going to use this deck a lot, but I have a feeling everyone's going to be running log bait. So you're going to want to create decks to counter log bait. Um, I assume they're going to give you three entries, three losses and you're out. So same as any other challenge, but I assume they're going to give three free entries. If you guys don't know, the first Crown Championship Finals Challenge, they did give three free entries. So that's where I'm assuming that from. So let's go ahead and look at decks. Log Bait, definitely a very strong deck. Um, I know a lot of people sub in the Inferno Tower for like uh, Tornado and stuff like that. You can sub this in for Log, but I like Eris because I've been seeing the Minion Horde a lot lately. And it does take out the Goblin Barrel. Um, burn Even Trade. So... Next deck, this deck is so good, especially if you can hold people off till double elixir, and you can start pushing with your Lava Hound, Minion Horde, Balloon, and Miner all at the same time and completely overrun them. Um, I have a tutorial on this deck. This is such a good deck. I'll go ahead and link that deck down below. Um, also, Log Bait. I'll create a tutorial about that soon. Uh, then this deck right here, such a good deck, Hog Rider. But you're going to be seeing Hog Rider everywhere. So uh, that's why I like having the Tombstone and the Tornado and then the Log. So this deck is so good against Log Bait because you've got the Log and you've got the Tornado and you've got the Executioner deal with like Goblin Gang and the Goblin Barrel. So this is such a strong deck that you guys are definitely going to want to be able to use. So uh, here is this deck right here. I have done a couple videos on this. I'll link one of the videos down in the description if you guys are interested in seeing a video on this deck. But this deck is really good against log bait, so I definitely recommend it. Here, we're going to get into another deck. Uh, this deck is very expensive. 
not very good against log bait. So if there's a lot of log bait, do not use this deck. This is the last deck that you should use if you're playing against log bait. Um, this deck is mainly centered around playing against hog riders. Uh, it's really good because you've got both the Mega Knight Pekka and the e -Wiz to stop these hog riders. Uh, you don't have a building to like bring it away, but the Mega Knight and Pekka make quick work, especially if you do have the e -Wiz with it as well. So uh, definitely a really good thing right there. You are going to want to uh, be using this deck if you are seeing hog rider too much. Then let's go to this first deck right here. Uh, such a fun deck. I love playing it. You get to control the game so much. Uh, the biggest weaknesses are probably like not Hog Rider because you do have the Pekka. Uh, log bait is an issue, but then again, you do have the log. So it's not too big of an issue. You just have to be really patient when you use your log because you also do have the poison. So the princess isn't too much of a nuisance because like I said, you do have the poison. So... Um, since you have the poison, you can take out the princess fairly quickly. You also have a miner if it does come down to the uh, chance where you have to drop the miner on the princess. You don't want to take too much damage, but I would definitely always save that log for the goblin barrel to get that taken out of. Uh, hopefully, if you're playing an opponent, you get some value on that log. Sometimes you'll get the goblin barrel, goblin gang, and princess all together in the same log. So that's definitely a really good, um, a really, like, a lot of value. So I also have a video up on how to use this deck. So I will be posting that video down in the link in the description. So I'll have about, um, I have a, a video on this deck as well. But when I did post the video, I didn't really use the deck that well. Um, I guess I can link that video as well if you guys are interested in watching that. I'll link this deck in the video, this deck in the video. Uh, this deck in the video, this deck in the video, and then I don't have a log bait deck video, even though that is my specialty, that's the main deck I use, um, but I am working on a log bait guide for you guys if you are interested in seeing that. So look out for that if you do want to learn some log bait, but definitely some videos I recommend would be like Surgical Goblins log bait guide, that's what Tommy and Sir Tag's log bait guide. So if you guys are interested in learning log bait, those are the best guides to look at. Uh, Sir Tag and Surgical Goblin are absolute beasts if you guys don't know who they are. Actually, Sir Tag does rap Nova like myself, so huge shout out to Sir Tag. I recommend his video. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and look at this challenge once more. Um, I can't believe that they gave so much rewards. I knew they were going to have a 20 wins challenge. Someone tweeted at Clash Royale. They are like, hey, Clash Royale, make a 20 wins challenge. And they just replied with like a this face and... Like, um, maybe. And I was like, oh, they're making a 20 win challenge. And here it is. But they're giving way more gold than I did expect. Like I said, we added it all up to 290,000. And that's without the chest. You also do get nothing from a legendary chest. But you get the gold from the 12 wins reward as the magical chest. And you also get um, the gold from the giant chest at 8 wins. So that's another couple of thousand gold right there in itself. So this is going to be a lot of gold. You are definitely wa going to want to win this. I would definitely wait it out and um, make sure you've got some decks down. Maybe win some classic challenges, grand challenges before you do jump into this. It's a lot of gold you're risking. Um, like I said, they are going to most likely give three free entries since it is such a big um, challenge. 20 wins is a lot. I know a lot of friends that got 19 wins last time. So Shout out to those people that do get 19 wins on the videos, or on their uh, t challenges. But yeah, you guys are going to want to win this. You're going to want to find a deck and master it. I wouldn't change decks too much. There's definitely going to be a meta last time within the first 24 hours. Um, back then, I was a complete noob. Like, it was within my first like two months of playing the game. But um, there was a meta once the challenge was out for like 24 hours, and every single person was running the same deck, from what I understand. I have a couple of friends that are really good at the game obviously they play for nova they're really really good pros and um after like the 24 hours of the challenge being out there became like a big meta in the challenge so everyone's running the same deck so um you want to get this challenge done before something like that happens because then it gets really frustrating because obviously it's based purely off of skill and um mirror matchups and stuff like that so um also starting hand and yeah all those factors that do run into that so you want to get this challenge done before it gets too late in the challenge. Also because while other people still have their first free entries, 
Um, you don't want to do it too late because then there's people that are paying gems to go and obviously they're pretty good if they're willing to pay some gems to enter the challenge. So you want to get it done pretty early in the challenge while there's no meta and a lot of people still have their free entries because then they're most likely a little um, newer to the game than the people that are willing to spend gems are. So uh, yeah, as I said, make sure you master a deck and keep using that deck and make sure you use that deck because um, definitely repetition is really good and you can master the deck, know what to use and when to use it. So that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll of course make a video or stream uh, cap recapping my crown championship finals challenge attempts. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for daily Clash Royale content if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!